What's up, everybody? It's Cashflow Nexus, your favorite chart analyst, back again, giving you the latest and greatest updates on the financial market and news. And today we will be taking a closer look at XRP, Bitcoin, and more. And if you are new to this channel and you like what you see in here and feel compelled to sub, hit the subscribe button and the bell for notifications on future content. That being said, for today's list, we have scripture, a subscriber shout out, crypto market overview blockchain war uh, between the u.s and china cryptocurrency 2020 act bank failure and finally last but not least technical analysis on xrp and bitcoin so since i have a lot to cover today i'm going to go through this as fast as i can but i'm also going to take my time so you guys i know a lot of you are about to click off at this point but i i i, I just want to say don't click off just yet you need to hear this because this is something serious because all of this is going to tie into what's going on with with the the banks with uh iran with the united states with china everything ties in with what i'm about to say right now because i said on twitter jesus will be coming soon second peters three and eight but beloved be not ignorant he says this for a reason be not ignorant of this one thing if you, you could be ignorant to everything else, but be not ignorant to this one thing. That one day is with the Lord as a thousand years. One day with God is a thousand years on this earth. A thousand years on... Imagine how many years on this earth has already passed. Three, if three thousand years on this earth has passed, only three days has passed with God. And a thousand years as one day. God's time is different, people. This is why everybody complains about patience. Everybody's been saying Jesus is not coming. Jesus is not doing this. God's not doing this. He sees everything. He's in control of everything. And people do not understand that everything that's going on when it comes to cryptos, when it comes to war, God's in control. When Trump's in office, when President Obama was in office, he allowed these things to happen for one reason. And it's to allow... and is to fulfill the prophecy that's coming soon. Everything is being built up for this one thing and it's connecting because when the banks fail, when XRP goes through and, and maintains itself, everything's gonna be put under one system. This is the crypto revolution that's going to change the world. Imagine everything under one system, it'll be easier to track your, be tracked everything that's going on you think the chip is not going to be utilized when this happens when you don't bow down to the agenda that's going to come you're going to be the same person that wish they they heard this message and I, i'm saying this because it's true it might not happen as soon as 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 fast as we think it is but it's on the on the horizon so be vigilant and get a relationship with the Lord because this is not a time to be playing around. It's time to get serious and know what's going on around you. All right? Don't be ignorant, people. I'm telling you, this is what's going to happen. Subscriber shout out goes to D Daniels. Thank you, man, for subscribing to my channel. You, I see you posting in my comments. I see you interacting with my uh, post. So I appreciate you and I hope that you continue to be a part of this channel and continue to support this channel god bless you man okay crypto market overview as you can see the markets are bleeding we had a strong bull rally the other day uh bitcoin is losing dominance it was actually at 69 percent earlier today but now it's at 67 i said this one time and i'll say it again the day that bitcoin hits 50 percent dominance is when the is going to be when the whole entire market is going to be up for grabs at that point whatever cryptocurrency that they want to use that's going to be the global movement and and i strongly think it's xrp because it's the only one that has a ecosystem being built in place you don't think they have a plan b if banks fail i'm pretty sure that if banks fail XRP is going to have already has a backup plan just for this. So that's why I'm showing you what's going on. Even though the market dominantly follows Bitcoin, and we all know this, we can't be ignorant to this. One this day that once it hits 50%, the market's gonna be up for grabs for the taking. All right. So we're going to look at 
the the blockchain war between the U.S. and China. So what if the United States loses? I've been saying this for a while. I always been saying, watch China, watch China, watch China. But you know, people don't listen. But hey, it's everything's coming to the light. And I'm telling you, one day China's just gonna show their true face if they have it already. But if you understand the things that are going on in China as a communist country, that they not only persecute Christians, but the, the they're trying to establish dominance globally. This is why Bitcoin, I don't really tr- like the uh, idea of Bitcoin because it's ran by China, a country that's dominated by that's dominated by um, communism. Imagine if China does take the, the lead in the world and they're already throwing Christians in jail and already killing people over there because you don't bow down to the agenda. That same system that I'm telling you about Maybe the same system that they implement if they ever take over globally. I'm telling you guys, you gotta watch these things. Okay, so let me go ahead and read it, read a little bit of it. Let's see. Okay, so I'm just gonna skip here. So this could be an opportunity for China, which has already become the world's leading trading nation. Look at that, they're already leading. To stand up to the first economic world power, the United States, and flex its muscles. But how significant is this move? And what happens if China really wins the blockchain race? For the Chinese, digitalizing, I don't know how to say that, Maybe is a way to get out from underneath the U.S.'s thumb. Because the United States is dabbling in a lot of people's affairs, whether it be China's affairs, whether it be Russian affairs, whether it be... Uh, what else? Iranian affairs. We America is always in somebody's affairs because we it uh, we seem like we're the overseers of all these other countries that are, you know, against certain freedoms and against certain things. And I'm telling you, if America drops the ball in not taking advantage of winning this race, it's going to be heinous for us, and it's going not going to be pretty. So you have to be ready for this. But it all starts at home, too, because we don't even have things in order here. So here we go uh, for the Chinese. OK, I already read that under the units um, said as war press. I don't even know if I said that right. As economic professor uh, at Cornell University and former head of the IMF Chinese Chinese division, China's division, China's goal isn't necessarily to overthrow the dollar either. He added, but want to give their allies an alternative to the dollar and create a system that could be disrupted by the United States. Once we lose that authority, because the United States has authority over a lot of countries and we don't realize how much power we have. Once we lose that authority over other countries, it's going to be a uh, we, we're not going to have much say so in other affairs. That's why cryptocurrencies was invented, in my opinion. It's to undermine the United States, uh, you know, dominance and do it in a different route. I would have, I'm going to do some more, you know, digging on that. But that's something that I want y'all to keep in mind because everything is not going to be, you know, put out in the open for you to just get. It's going to be, you know, over time, it's going to start revealing itself slowly and slowly. And then finally, right when it's in front of you, bam, they got you where they want you. All right. So here's a, here's something I want to skip down. Let's see. Blockchain allowed the tracking of various transactions, ensuring immobility and incorruptibility of such records, explained Rajah Sharif. Okay, so he said... Blockchain can be used for cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin, but can also be used for other purposes, e.g. supply chain management, land registries, record keeping, record keeping. You see that record keeping? I'm telling you that everything (laughs) I'm telling you guys, everything is going to be put under one system. They're just trying to find the best cryptocurrency to do it and other transaction management. All right. Uh, let's skip down. China has clearly decided that blockchain and artificial intelligence technologies are important to help her reach a global dominant 
commercial position. Yep, yeah, I'm telling you, it is easy to see why they want they will want to focus on these technologies. Once one can ensure data integrity, AI capabilities, and results can be much better and trusted. These two advantages can help China accelerate its strategic imperative of trade dominance. It's not just gonna be trade dominance, it's gonna be more than that. You don't think China wants us out of the number one spot? You don't think China holds anything against us? Come on, look at look at the how like like you guys, China does not like the things that goes on over here in America. They if they really spoke their mind, I'm pretty sure you know they wouldn't have anything good to say about us anyway. But anyway, let's go to the next one. Uh, Cryptocurrency Act 2020. Uh, so let's see. Okay, so Cryptocurrency Act 2020 begins with the categorization of digital assets into three main groups. These groups are then used to determine which agencies are responsible for the creation of regulation and legislation. The first group described in the new bill is cryptocurrencies. So when it says responsible for the creation of regulation and legislation, think about the currencies that are go- that are have the use case if any if all of them probably they could do that but which one's going to have the fastest use case and can easily be tracked and monitored on a global scale? I think it's XRP between XRP and Bitcoin at this point. Uh, so let me continue reading the first group described in the new bills. Okay, the class crypto class includes Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, and any other cryptocurrencies that don't fall under the current securities regulation. So anything that's not under that regulation securities regulation the bill classifies these tokens as any digital asset that includes representation of the united states currency or synthetic derivatives resting on a blockchain or decentralized cryptographic ledger ledger okay let's see go down uh smart contracts and oracles fall under the cryptocurrency category as well the next class described in the bill is crypto commodities. That's interesting. A key aspect of these tokens is the fun, the fact that they contain some form of substantial fungibility. Fungibility assets are interchangeable, such as the United States dollar. These assets must reside on a blockchain or decentralized cryptography. <laughs> cryptographic ledger to fall under this classification the final type of coin described in the bill is crypto securities these tokens are simply any coin that fail that fails the howie test i I need to look into that that's an interesting one Uh, let's see who oversees the and enforces regulations the three regulatory bodies mentioned in the bill that will oversee the cryptocurrency space include the Commodity Futures Trading Commissions, which is CFTC, uh, the SEC, and the FIN C- uh, CEN, so which is the Financial Crimes Enforcement Network and also Securities and Exchange Commission. Wow, two big things in America that we need to be paying attention to. All right, so let's go down. The act keeps security tokens under watchful eye of the SEC. The SEC recently began cracking down on what is considered illegal securities offering from the 2017 ICO craze. Two ex- examples I mentioned yesterday. Okay, I'm reading the article. Yesterday were EOS and Telegram. Ethereum was also slapped on the wrist by the SEC for conducting an unregistered security sale. Interesting. Uh, Let's go down. What's the goal? The great deal of crypto enthusiasts point, point to the new legislation as a means to combat Facebook's proposed digital asset, Libra. Ever since Facebook announced its goal to produce a stable coin that will operate on its network 
lawmakers have been in a rush to configure some form of framework to contain the company's potentially game-changing product. Mm. Multiple senators have called for Libra to be categorized as a security. Last year, a group of bipartisan U.S. senators proposed a bill that would place all stable coins in all wait place all stable coins into the securities category. The bill, the Token Taxonomy Act of 2019, would firmly place Facebook's latest crypto under the regulatory supervision of the SEC. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you know, everything is being is you know under a watchful eye. Like I said, they're all trying to figure out which cryptocurrency is gonna play the the best role for the the revolution and the global reset that they're about to have. I'm telling you that they're they're trying to figure out and you know get everything in order. So at this time, you guys, it's you got to be you know praying and be vigilant in what's going on and be have a watchful and mindful you know be led by the spirit and be watchful and mindful of what's going on don't be ignorant of what's going on around you it's good to know these things so i said this you know yesterday i i had asked the question i said i like to stir up the pot with the question targeted at the whole xrp community if all banks failed by some crazy chance would xrp fail too or would its ecosystem replace it being like bitcoin a store of value and more just digging in your minds you know so i had a few you know comments you know you could check them out right here you could read them but my opinion on that i think if banks failed i do believe xrp will still succeed but i think it will take a longer time everybody already sees banks you know failing right now i think banks right now are you know they're not doing they're not doing what they are really supposed to at this point that's why cryptocurrency bitcoin mainly was involved created because nobody believes in banks anymore nobody is trying to hold their money in banks i don't think it's even safe to have your money in banks anymore uh if you've been watching how you know slippage goes through the market or how the swift system is we're under this old system if banks continue to do what they're doing you know banks in my opinion will fail now how will this affect xrp i think you know it will slow down the process of building the ecosystem because they were you know on board of uh you know taking care of a solution of cross-border payments and remittance but now it's come to the point where you know if if they can't solve that what's the next step uh be a store value peer-to-peer build the ecosystem something along those lines it's still something that i would like to dig into but at the same time you got to look at every single scenario in this game so this is a bonus you know i'm gonna just put this article in the description so y'all could catch this for yourself goldman sachs is reorganizing its businesses to highlight its transformation into a digital bank so a lot of people have been saying you know if banks fail fiat fails all this fails they're going to create a a bank where it's digitalized and where it goes through one bank and I guess it's gonna be a digitalized bank. Now that's an interesting, you know, scenario. Uh, I'm not going to read this. I'm just gonna have, you know, put in the description below so you guys can, you know, check it out for yourselves and, uh, you know, do your own digging and your own research. But it's an interesting article nonetheless. That being said, we're gonna finish off with technical analysis with XRP and Bitcoin. So I'm actually going to start off with Bitcoin because Bitcoin is the dominating, you know, crypto at the point at this moment. So I have got this, you know, drawn up here. Let's, let's go ahead and zoom out. Well, it's really not zooming out. <laughs> but here we go. 
what I do have here, we have been in this channel, you know, for quite some time since June 25th, all the way up till now today. And we have made it clear that price has been dominated by Bitcoin in all the markets. Uh, if you look here, more so here, we already have, you know, resistance at the flat part of the cloud with Ichimoku. Uh, we did, we were starting to get a Kumo twist, but it looks like we're getting another twist at, as well. So we might go bearish again. Uh, what I, I did say, I think, I believe on Twitter, if we can't get above this area, we're definitely going to be coming down. And if we zoom in a little bit more, you see how it rejected at, let's see, what price is that? 8,423. So we rejected there and you see that price is starting to move to the downside. If we could close, you know, halfway through this candle, this will be a dark cloud cover, a dark cloud cover candle, uh, which our pattern, which will represent that uh it's a bearish reversal in the market at resistance as well uh if we look at the four hour time frame we're already showing signs of rejection here and we had a spinning top and we already broke tinkinson at this level so we broke uh you know resistance right uh resistance right here and now we broke support so report uh support now became is now resistance again until we either bounce back from here to the upside or we may continue further to the downside. So we won't know until the next few hours, but right now it's looking bearish for Bitcoin. Uh, I don't see any, um, I don't see any divergence or anything, but my analysis is prices going back lower. And since that's happening, I, I'm putting my money on uh, Bitcoin coming back down to 7,688 level right at this top point of Tinkinson or back down to this cloud area or this red zone here between these two levels. So that's what I'm looking at with Bitcoin. Now for XRP, my uh, channel's favorite coin. Everybody loves XRP on my channel. So here we go. Uh, we're underneath the cloud still. Price Chiku spend is underneath price. We're still very bearish. Uh, you know, if XRP follows Bitcoin, just like every other coin right now. So it's good to, you know, have that understanding. Uh, as we see here, we made a, uh, what's it called? We made a uh, <laughs> tweezer top at this point and price decided to push lower. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, we cross here again so we had a bullish cross and if we have another bearish cross here because it looks like we're breaking tinkinson right here we already have broke it but we, we rejected a little bit but i wouldn't be surprised if we broke down lower and get a cross another tk cross that's bearish and pushing prices even lower to test back at this zone here where we had our initial breakout uh let me go ahead and draw that up uh, you see how it's messed acting up because we they know I'm telling the truth. <laughs> but look here. It was in that range. Let's see. We were in that range here. I believe it could come back and test uh, the top of this breakout right here, which is where Tinkinson's at. I mean, Kijinson's currently at, which is going to take us down to 20 cents and 223. So that's what I see right now. I don't see anything different. Uh, let's check the four hour time frame. We already broke, you know, Tinkinson, uh, right here, already moving to the downside. So, this is a strong indication that we might get a reversal. Uh, we could hold here, but let's see how true that is. Uh, I believe we'll come back and test this breakout and then probably enter back into this region. So, that's what I see so far for both uh, cryptos. The market's going to bleed a little bit more. Uh, you know, it's, there's no new money coming into the market. Just new cryptos are being made at the moment, which doesn't make any sense why. But I'm pretty sure they're experimenting and try to create something that's going to, you know, have everybody under one system, like I was saying in the beginning. 
All right, that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this technical analysis in the news. Uh, be paying attention to the war in Iran and be praying and stay vigilant. And so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. God bless you guys and peace.